Cade Slinky. Hey people, Cade Slinky here. So what we're going to do today is have a look at the Orcs. We're going to have a brief look at through their skills and just have a quick look at them all together and how they work. So a bit of gameplay on them as well, how they work together as a team. So let's just get straight into it, shall we? So Snot Flogger. Snot Flogger is probably one of my favourite Orcs of the five. Um, he's one of the early ones I got as well, which probably helps. But yeah, this, this guy is so cool with his little uh, hound. So what Snot Flogger does, he gets to the uh, Grots and an adjacent X. Um, so when he first does the skill, they spawn. Um, if there is someone in front of them, they kind of attack immediately. And they can hit pretty hard. Got this at level 16 at the moment, so there's a mass kind of area for them to get better. But um, yeah, they're pretty decent to be fair. And they can really like kind of... Um, multiply and become really good to be fair and once you get quite a few of them on the board they can really help and also he's got his little uh, hound as we said so also with any friendly grots within two X's ignore the battle fatigue so basically they won't uh, run away um, after snot flogger moves the squid hound bites a random adjacent enemy for some physical damage and again that's pretty decent he does hit pretty hard this guy got him leveled up pretty good and yeah he looks he looks super cool so he's probably, yeah, like I say, he's one of my favourite ones of the uh, the gang. Next we've got Gibber Scraps. Gibber Scraps is like a support kind of orc. Um, he sends off this little tank, which is actually a pretty decent tank, I'm going to say, for a little tank. So it cannot move on its first turn, but immediately attacks the enemy in range. Um, and it just moves and just keeps on attacking. And this is a really nuisance to a lot of enemies, so it's a really good little skill to have. Also, his other skill is he does a bit of uh, all friendly units have some more armor, so he really does help build a bit of a force field. And also, he repairs. He repairs this guy as well, so he can repair any mechanical units, health, um, only mechanical, um, and also multiply by the highest number of hits of their weapons. So he really does. This guy is, is a really decent support um, orc, to be fair. He does come in pretty handy. So next we've got Snapper Wrecker, probably one of my least favourites, but again, this this guy can t kind of stand back and to shoot. He's got a really good range, and um, he can move pretty quick as well. So he's got his ramming speed, which can cause some really good damage. So it attacks the target within five hexes. Um, the target suffers physical damage, but he also suffers some damage himself. Um, if the kills Snapper Wrecker, the resulting explosion, deals 50, plus 50% 50 damage to target ramming speeds. So it's like a, like a kamikaze kind of move. Um, can only be used by Snapper Wrecker, has not already moved that turn. So it's okay. It's I'm not a big fan of anything that kind of can take damage to themselves. And I think that's kind of used in like a, an emergency. I never really had to really use it, but it's, it's an okay skill. And also he's got the spinning blades of that can claw. So he can cut through all of the hardest armour. When attacking in melee, ignores a 40 damage armour at the time. And permanently reduces the armor's, the target's armour by a certain amount as well, depending on the level. So he's okay. Like I say, he, he's alright. The other skills he's got is, is obviously mechanical, so it can be repaired. Big target, so due to its size, the unit benefits less from cover. Um, explodes, obviously we've gone through that. And also for he's got the Dacker as well. So for attacks with a range three or more, has two plus hits if the target's in range of two. So like I said, this guy is really good just for like standing back, um, shooting at a distance, um, and that's about it really. This guy, like I said, can be used for a bit of emergency last minute if you want to kamikaze into something. But yeah, he's my least favourite. I think he needs a bit of work doing. Tank Smasher. Now Tank Smasher is one of my newest kind of orcs I've got. Um, Hence why it's only like level 5 and 6. But this guy is pretty good. He can hit hard. I kind of love his kind of like kamikaze run he does. Which is this unstoppable momentum. So he charges in one of the six directions. And just keeps moving in a straight line. Until he hits an obstacle or unit with a big target. So if he hits something big he's going to stop there. Any enemies hit by the charge will take some damage. And get pushed out of the way. Friendly units also get displaced but don't take damage so if there's any friendly guys there they'll just move out of your way and it's a great little move and i'd like to can't wait to get it kind of um damage increase on that more to be fair because i think it's really handy also he's got the jaws the squid jaws the first enemy dealing damage in melee to old tank smasher each takes a turn doing some physical damage from ta the smasher squid immediately after the attack so again he can hit pretty hard like I say, I've got a lot of work to do with this guy. He's, he's the last one I got, but he looks ace on his little squid. And it's a pretty cool weapon as well. So, yeah, he's becoming up there one of my favourite orcs. 
And last but not means the least, we've got the boss, Gullcox. And this guy is pretty cool. I think he, he probably looks one of the best orcs, to be fair, at the five. I do love the little grot on top with a machine gun. He looks pretty cool. So he's got this wah. So what it does is all friendly characters within three hexes who have not already moved or taken an action and move towards the nearest enemy unit with a plus one movement. So it really is, it kind of like spurs them on. And they also plus 46 damage. Orc units also have a plus one hit in this attack and it uses up their actions for this turn. So it is like, a, right, everyone's going to move now. Um, in some ways it's good for certain Orcs, um, but only certain Orcs. Like I say, if you want to get um, in the old... Who are we looking at now? Yeah, to give a scrap. So if you want to get his kind of like tank out um, first... You don't want to be using that until he's kind of I've, I've had his first go, so it's okay. And also, he's got the uh, little uh, bulldozer attacks at the top with a grot gunner dealing additional damage to the target. If the target is defeated, the leftover grot gunner hits and allocated to a random enemy target within three hexes. So that, again, it's a pretty good skill. Like, say, so if you kill him, straight off of your first, he's just going to shoot round, shoot someone else. So it's a brief look at the orcs. Like, I say, what else has this guy got? He's got the Daka. Final Vengeance as well. So when he's losing, yeah, that's it. He's kind of like a last-minute attack. Um, he's classed as a big target and also mechanical, so he can be repaired. But, yeah, he, he looks so cool, the boss. He's, like I say, he's probably one of my, my favourite-looking ones. So we're going to just have a look at him in action. Um, we'll probably have a look at level 45. It's a bit of an easy, but there's quite a lot of enemies on here just to show off their skills and just how they work together as a five. Like I said, I am working on them at the moment to try and build them up to get through the rest of the campaign. Um, I'm kind of, each one I'm kind of levelling up um, and then go to the next and go to the next. So here we go. So you want to start, this is like we've got a bit of a war going on here. So like I said, with a boss I could use that skill but there's no point straight away because we want to be using some of the skills of these others. So what we're going to do for now is move Snapperacker over here to the course some grief. And we managed to get a flea out there as well, so that's pretty good. That's a good start. We're going to get way out of old boss because I'd like to, I'm hoping to get some along down here to charge. So again, I'll probably just take out this enemy here. Might move him one. Tank smasher, I want it. Hopefully the enemies will come up there, or if we can get a line here just to show his skill. But it will be a bit kamikaze, but let's get the old tank Aruni out. And it's not vlog, there's no enemies around yet, so we're going to go leave it from there. That's it, they could take a punch. Come on, another one on that bridge. There's that, there's that skill, you've seen him back. So it's pretty cool. So there's a tank, like I say, he do, does some damage. And we're going to show off tank smasher skill now. Let's just go bamboozle in a line. So moving first over to here. And then just charge. And you should charge all through them three. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> and that's the damage done. It's a bit kamikaze because it does put him out in the open now. And he's probably my weakest one. So he, he, might, he might get attacked and die. But we'll see. So let's see if we can get some grots on the go. So I should be able to stand here, and we'll get some grots out. Just a one for now, but I say he, he did a damage there for the other one, so looking pretty good here. So what we're going to do next, actually, is show off the boss's wah. So you just use the wah, and this is what we'll do now is the others will be able to just go in crazy now and go mad. There's a tank again at the bottom, there's a grot at the top, a lot going on. We're looking in pretty good con condition to be fair, like I said, it's a bit of an overkill really for these. Um, but again, boss, he can just stand back now and just shoot, because he's got a great range. Same with Snapper Racker, do some damage there. Oh, and we've killed him. So all we've got left now is uh, Ancient Thread. So i will say this guy can repair, so if you really wanted to, go up and do some repair in here. Also, there's, you can see the shield going on. Let's go show a bit of charge with Tank Smasher. Yeah, it's got great movement. Um, Snot Vlog is going to be a long time to go around there. But let's send him around anyway. There's a bike back. 
And we're just going to finish off now, just doing some firing. This guy's just, just beyond for a bit of backup. And he should be dead next time anyway, to be fair. The Grot's going to have a go and kill him. And there we go. There's the Orcs in action. Like I said, that was a bit of an overkill. Probably a bit too easy for uh, the levels they are. But it just goes to show how well they work together. These are becoming, start to become some of my favourite kind of faction to use. I never really uh, got on with the Orcs to begin with. They were, they were probably my least favourite. But the more I play them together, they just work so well together. And I'm looking forward now for the future, just building these guys up and uh, just seeing what they're capable of. And I think in the future, these guys, I really can't wait to get them levelled up and just really get them out there and some of the tougher missions so there we go hope that uh hope that was interesting for some people really it was just going through what's your favorite orc like i say mine's definitely snot flogger but what's your favorite and um, what's your least favorite and is there any kind of like things i'm missing any secrets about these guys that people have worked out that they're really good at so i'm always willing to hear that as well so i hope that helps some of you out there please don't forget to check out some of your videos and also hit that like and subscribe on your way out take care Bye bye